So let's suppose I want to calculate the derivative of some number, some constant, times a differentiable function. So here's what I want to do. I've got some function f of x. And this function is uh, differentiable at a. Right? That means that the derivative right, exists at the point a. OK. Now I want to know what happens if I define a new function, which is some constant times this function. So uh, I'll define a new function, g of x, which is c times f of x. And I don't know if g of x is differentiable or not. Right? So the theorem is that then this function is also differentiable at a. And in fact, the derivative of g at a is c times the derivative of f at a. How do I verify something like this? Well, it's the same as how I verify all of these facts. Right? I'm just going to go back to the definition of derivative. So to convince you of this, right, I just have to write down what I believe the derivative of g at a is. Right? The, but the definition of derivative, this is the limit as x goes to a of g of x minus g of a over x minus a. But I know what g is. g is c times some function f, this differentiable function. So this is the limit of c times f of x, that's what g of x is, minus c times f of a over x minus a. Now how do I calculate that limit? Well, I've got a common factor of c. All right, so I'm going to pull out that common factor of c. And this is the same as the limit as x goes to a of c times f of x minus f of a over x minus a. And this is the limit of a constant times something. And that's the same as the constant times the limit of the thing, provided this limit exists. And it does. So this is c times the limit as x goes to a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a, provided that limit exists. And it does. This is the derivative of f at a. So this is c times f prime at a. And that's what I wanted to show. I wanted to show that the derivative of this function uh, g, which is some number times f of x, the point a, is c times the derivative of f at a.